okay that's called the rotating condyle all right so if my mandible moves to the right side it means the rotating condyle is the right side if my mandible moves to the left side for example in the picture uh this one here in the picture the the patient is moving to the right side so this means okay the right condor so this is right this is left so the right side is the rotating condor rotating so rotating just just is how can you remember so if you're rotating it means you're working okay if you're if you're if you're if if you if the if the tires or the wheels of your car are rotating it means your car is running it's working right all right so you can get it's, i like to 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 learn by association so if you associate something you you don't you don't forget so rotating something is rotating it's working all right the same with the condor a, a rotating condor is a working condor meaning is the side where the mandible moved to the orbiting condor okay is the condor uh, on the non-working side orbiting okay so it's like uh, you can say orbiting somebody is not is not really uh working okay you're just orbiting you're just passing by you're not working you're orbiting the environment you're orbiting the office just walking by you're not you're not working okay all right so you have to keep that in mind so it's very important so the if, uh, as i mentioned the the in the picture here so you have the condo on the on the side opposite uh where the mind will move to is called the orbiting conda and in the lateral mandible movements the orbiting conda moves so the orbiting conda moves inward all right inward orbiting conda moves inward And then it moves downward and then it moves forward okay and it orbits about the rotating condor and so when when the when the when the orbiting condor is moving inward downward and forward guess what the rotating condor is doing the rotating condor is moving outward outward okay and then it moves it's moving outward during the 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 the, the, the movement okay so rotating condor moves outward while the orbiting condor is moving inward downward and forward okay so make sure you keep that in mind it's a, it's a, it's a, most of the questions they, they like to ask that they may ask in a different way okay and uh, just make sure you, you understand the principles okay so the orbiting path uh, is the the path of movement of the con uh, of the orbiting condor and the rotating path is the path of movement of the rotating condor protrusive path is a path of movement of the condors in straight protrusive movement so you can understand all those movements it's very clear very easy to understand you just have to know this it's just the terms okay but if you associate the terms with something you already know it makes sense rotating means working Orbiting is the non-working side. All right. All right. So the orbiting condor. So the orbiting condor moves uh, downward, forward, and medially. 
That's what we just mentioned. So instead of medially, there's inward. Okay, inward. And the orbital conda is the conda on the non-working or the balancing side. All right, we're not going to waste time on that. Well, they explained. And the rotating conda is that, so the, the rotating conda moves laterally. So it may it moves laterally, meaning it moves outward. All right. Now it may also move forward or backward, or it can move upward or downward. But essentially, it moves laterally or outward. Okay. So rotating conda is the conda on the working side, as we as you already know. All right, the cable speed we've discussed the cable speed in the in the uh, on the dental anatomy lectures. Okay, they're about uh, six or seven lectures. Make sure you review that the cable speed, as I mentioned, is very important to understand. The cable of Wilson is also very important to understand. Um, so. The the cave of speed is the just a quick review. There's a curvature which begins at the canines and follows the bulkers tips of the premolars and molars. A flatter cave of speed is less likely to have excursive interference. Okay. You understand that? A flat cave of speed is less likely to have excursive interferences. Because everything's flat. So everything's on the same level, so there's no interferences. Okay. The curve of Wilson. So the curve of Wilson is a, is the is the a, 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 a horizontal or a transverse. It's a transverse uh, uh, path. Okay, or curvature. It's a medial lateral. Uh, that's another way of saying uh, transverse. Transverse. So it's a medial lateral curvature of the occlusal plane of the posterior teeth. Okay. And so here, uh, there's some principles which you have to understand. These principles I have mentioned in the previous lectures. All right, and I'm going to review the, them here again. So the curve of Wilson depresses non-supporting cusps and helps them uh, prevent working interferences okay so the cable wilson depresses the non-supporting cusps okay meaning the non-supporting cusps on the on the on the on the maxilla is the the buckle right in the mandible is the lingo. Okay. So you can see that 